Hello IT pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your host Alvin Drill and in this video I'm going to show you how to replace your mechanical hard drive 3.5 inches by two, yes you heard well, two SSD, 2.5 inches. Okay, so for that end I'm going to use this Dell Optiplex 3040 but this is going to work the same for any desktop from HP, Lenovo or any other manufacturer even though and even if you have your own desktop computer that you have built yourself. I'm going to show you that later. So as you can see this is how it looks and I'm showing you that I'm not using any uh, watches or jewelry and I'm going to discharge myself of any static electricity I might have in my body by touching the case or any metallic surface. All right. So I do that for a few seconds now I'm going to open the case. In this mod it's very simple to do and now you can see here there is the power supply, there is the fan for the processor and this is the a mechanical hard drive. So I have done a video in the past about how to upgrade the BIOS version and reset the BIOS password for this model. So if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen or in the video description below if you want to watch the videos. So this is the 3.5 inches mechanical hard drive. So we're going to remove it. So in this model, I have to remove the front case and I have to remove this enclosure, the blue one. That's the one we're going to use in a few more seconds. So you remove it like this, very simple, very easy. And now you disconnect um, the SATA cable and the power for the hard drive. So you remove it from the closure, and this is the one we're going to, to use. And this is the classical 3.5 uh, hard drive. So Toshiba 500 gigabytes. So we're going to put it aside. And now I'm going to show you the SSD that the SSDs that we are going to use. So these are the two brands I normally use in my videos and in my computers. So they have been family fail me so so far. So if you're interested, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. But you can use any other brand, of course. Also, you can use the classical mechanical hard drive for laptops as well, 2.5 inches. As you can see, they are the same size. So you can use any any that you may have, but I'm going to use the SSDs, of course. Now as you can see, um, the SSDs are way too small for the for the enclosure, for the blue one. And for that, we have to use a bracket. So in this case, I'm going to use Inatech. This is that's the brand to uh, 2.5 to 3.5 hard drive mounting kit. So this is very affordable. I'm going to leave the link in the description below as well if you're interested. So and it comes with many things. So it comes with two SATA cables if you need them and also with, with two uh, adapters for the power. So you can connect them to the, to the power supply on your computer. So this is the manual as well. I like the, the box. I mean, it's very simple, very techy, very, very nice. And it comes with the screws. It comes with um, a screwdriver as well and the kit itself. So the kit, the, the, I mean, not the kit, the bracket. The bracket is very light, as you can see there, and it's metallic. So we are going to, in a few more seconds, we're going to attach it to the blue enclosure. So I'm going to remove the, I'm going to show you the screws. You have the silver ones that are for the SSD to attach that to the bracket. And the black ones are if you have an older model. I'm not going to use the black ones because I really didn't need it, didn't need to use them, but you have them if you need. So now we are going to proceed to attach the SSDs to the bracket. So this is the front. In my case, this is the more convenient way to use it based on my model. And the screwdriver and the screws are magnetic. So that's very handy because the, the holes, as you can see here, are kind of small. And I'm going to struggle for a few seconds because I was not aligning the hole with the SSD. But after a few seconds, I got it and I was able to secure it, to attach it to the uh, bracket. So now I'm going to do uh, the same for the other uh, three screws. Uh, it's four screws per uh, SSD. So while I'm doing that, this is a good chance for you to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done it yet. So after you have done the first one, it's going to look like this. And I'm going to uh, attach the second one right now. I'm going to show you that it's going to be a little above the first one. So there is a space in the middle. So there is airflow and they don't really, uh, you know, touch each other. Maybe one is heating up or something. So that's pretty nice design. Now we are going to do, uh, I ran out of screws, so I'm going to grab uh, extra four and we're going to do exactly the same. We're going to add the screws to the bracket to hold the SSD. So at the end, it's going to look like this. Looks pretty nice. 
And now the second step, well, the next step is going to be to attach it to the enclosure, to the blue one. So this enclosure is uh, pretty standard. It's not something from Dell or from Inatech. It's just the market standard for 3.5 inches uh, hard drives. So it's very easy to attach. As you can see here, it has four holes, the bracket, and the enclosure has four kind of pins. So you make them fit and you have it like that. So the next step is going to be to put it back uh, uh, inside the computer like that. In my case, it's, very, it's pretty simple. And now you have to connect the SATA cable and the power for the SSD. Now, if you run out of cables, of course, like I mentioned before, this, um, this kit has uh, the adapters for the power and also the, the SATA cables. So now I'm going to put everything back, as you can see here, very simple, very quick, and, that, and you would have to turn on the computer. Now, you might be wondering, hey, but what if I don't have this model? I mean, this Dell, HP, Lenovo desktop computers. So what if I have a bigger tower? Maybe you build it yourself or you have an older model. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Welcome back. So I'm showing you here my um, desktop computer. I built it myself. It's a tower computer, or maybe you have an older model. So I'm going to show you around. And uh, this is the power, the fan for the processor. This is the power supply, the video card, the RAM over there. And for a long time now, these kind of cases have these trays for the SSDs, as you can see here. So maybe you have them fill up. You don't have more space, or maybe you have an older model. Uh, so what you're going to have in older models is these trays, so they can fit 3.5 classical hard drives. So I'm showing you uh, what we did a few seconds ago, attach the two hard SSDs to this bracket. So I'm going to remove the universal bracket for 3.5 inches, like just like the blue one we, we have used. So all my cable management is in the back, so the connectors have to be in the other, uh, have to be facing the other way. So not to the camera, but the other way around. So you put it, uh, you attach it to the enclosure like we did with the blue one and they are securely attached and we put it back just like that. Okay, so that's uh, how it looks. So I'm going to remove it just to show you a few more seconds. But this is how, as you can notice, uh, these two hard drives with enclosure, of, with the enclosure and the kit, of course, they fit in the same space as a uh, classical 3.5 inches a hard drive would. Uh, that way you can have more SSDs if you need them. So that's all I wanted to show you in this video, guys, how to replace your mechanical hard drive 3.5 inches by two SSDs. Okay. So if you have, uh, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave them in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.